fantastic. I've actually just seen it moving and, and turning. And I thought it was going to be really noisy. I'm quite surprised at how smooth and how clean it, it appeared to be. But no, it's absolutely fantastic, yeah. We are very proud of people in stone contracts and very proud of our history. And the, site, the whole site itself helps to keep that history alive for us and the fact that somebody's been able to come in and regenerate it and, and make it obviously bring the spirit back to the site. It's just absolutely brilliant so that for generations to come we'll still be able to come and appreciate the history and, and, that, that Stone Contract was built on. We selected this particular type of boiler because it could be put into a, a, a container a, and that would not look too intrusive on the side box, if you like, with a boiler hidden inside it. And this is unique because it's the only engine. Plus, it's representing a local engineering firm that is now virtually gone. Uh, um, and also, it's a piece of the pottery's history. It's, it's, it's in the position where it's working now. It isn't in a museum, it's in a working factory here. Engineers who know about these things, who know what a horizontal, non-condensing steam, a single cylinder steam engine is, it, it's easy for them to understand, but to the rest of us it's like speaking Greek. So in a way my role is to sort of interpret the language of the specialist and the, uh, the, the academic or the professional and to explain it very simply in terms of people who understand using language, using imagery. People remember steam driven engines and people in my generation I'm 60 and, and there are people locally who, who knew it as a, as a small child and, and heard the whistle in the factory I mean very very powerful to them and it, it's a celebration of, of stoking of being a stokey and what um, you know the pride of the engineering of being stokey so yeah it's really Thank you on behalf of the people of Stoke on Trent. Not that I'm qualified to thank you, but thank you for saving something that otherwise would never have been saved and would have been left to go into a derelict, horrible um, state that some of the other buildings further along the canal have left gone into. It's just absolutely fantastic.